Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Holiday Virtual Summit. I'm so glad you could join us today. I bet you've been learning a ton. I know I have been. I'm excited to share with you this session, Happy, Healthy, and Healing Holiday Cooking. Say that five times fast. Um, I am Darcy Steiner, nutritionist, author, and writing coach, and I'm so honored to be able to share this information with you, and I pray that it helps you. I made a PowerPoint presentation to help us go through this, so let's get to there, and we'll begin. All right. Happy, healthy, and healing holiday cooking. What does that involve? First of all, it involves using lots of colors. As you can see behind me, I'm an advocate of eating a lot of colors of fruits and veggies. Our eyes are drawn to colors for a reason because these foods contain phytochemicals that help fight cancer and disease in our bodies. So the color is supposed to draw us to them to eat more of them. So that's the advice that I'm going to give and lead off with this presentation. Let's incorporate more color into our meals. One way we can do this uh, to draw our guests attention to colors is by using centerpieces that incorporate the same colors. When you see a bunch of different colors on the table, you see the browns, the brown turkey, the brown stuffing, the brown potatoes, the brown gravy, the browns. We want our, our guests to be drawn to the colors. That's where the nutrition is. One way is by using these centerpieces. This um, birdhouse my, my granddaughter made about a year ago. And uh, you can see the orange from her little fingers actually draws out the orange in this cranberry sauce. And let me show you a little bit more about the cranberry sauce. Okay, so what I do is I make it orange cranberry, which is really good. And I grate a little bit of orange peel on from washed oranges. Make sure you wash them because people have handled them. And you're gonna squeeze a little bit of the orange juice into this recipe and use maple syrup. Okay, so this is what you do. You read the package directions. Basically you boil the cranberries in water. Then when they start popping, uh, they pop open from being heated. And then you add, uh, well, you smush them and then you add not the sugar, you're going to add maple syrup in place of the sugar because maple syrup is going to be healthier for you and you don't need as much. So depending on the recipe, let's say you have a small package, I would use a quarter cup of maple syrup instead of a cup or a cup and a half, whatever they say for the sugar. And then you're going to be adding a little bit of the orange, freshly squeezed orange from that orange and then some of the grated orange peel, and this is what it's gonna look like. It looks really pretty and it tastes really good. Orange cranberry sauce. Okay, so that's one part of the meal. Now, uh, one way we can draw out uh, colors on the table is by actually putting a veggie tray on instead of a charcuterie board. Charcuterie boards are awesome. However, they can contain many calories. I'd like to bring us back to the good old fashioned veggie tray, but we can do fun things with it. This is one that I made for my granddaughter's second birthday party and she was drawn to it and she saw adults eating from it and it had these fun labels. So it went over really well. You can do this kind of thing for your holiday meals. There's a, a little closer up shot of that cucumber. So do you think kids are more likely to eat vegetables from rabbit's garden or not? I believe so because I saw it happen. We can also use colorful relish dishes. Olives have many different colors and those are healthy. Uh, peppers are healthy, different colors. Uh, artichokes are healthy and these button mushrooms we're gonna get to. Okay, so healing 
holiday cooking is going to cut unnecessary fats as well as the unnecessary sugar. We're going to use herbs and spices to season and limit the butter and salt, which is often used to season. We're going to incorporate color as much as possible and ask yourself this question. Do we really need that many appetizers too? Um, no. Or do we really need so many desserts? If you have an option of one dessert, you'll eat that one dessert. Okay, so have two options. But seven, eight options, we're not going to just try the one or two. We're going to want a piece of all of them. And so that's one practical way to cut meals or sorry, cut calories from our meal without compromising the meal itself. No one's going to remember the appetizer or the dessert as much as they are going to remember the main course. Okay. Do we want to serve the same old green bean casserole in which everything comes in a can? The green beans, the the soup that you add, the onions that you add comes in a can, or do we want fresh roasted green beans with pine nuts? I so wish I had a picture to show you the difference, but I'll have to snap that picture this Christmas. However, I do have the recipe for you. It's here on the bottom of the page. On the top, you see this marinated mushrooms, which is another holiday recipe that I use almost annually. Uh, it's marinated white button mushrooms. Mushrooms are very good for you. This is very simple. I make this the night before my holiday meal along with the cranberry sauce. Both of these together take less than half an hour. It, it's, it doesn't take much time to eat healthy. In fact, a lot of times it takes less time if you're serving fresh foods that aren't altered too much. All right, healthy holiday cooking. Parsley, say, oh, no sage in this one. Rosemary and thyme. We left sage out this time. Get it? Huh? Anyway, we add sprigs of herbs to flavor and add eye appeal to our dishes. Some sprigs that we put on the outside of a dish that don't touch the food actually we can save to use another time because you can use those herbs, you can dry them and use in other dishes. If it's touched food, if the sprig is touched food, definitely throw it away. You don't want bacteria. All right, so some ideas, you can sprig your gravy, add a little sprig in there and that'll add some more flavor. Um, you can add sprigs to the turkey. You can put them inside while you're cooking. You can put them around after it's cooked. And look at these delectable half, um, they're, they're baked apples cut in half with cranberries added. That's a great, great idea I have not used. Um, so yes, we can use sprigs to bring eye appeal and health. Now the turkey recipe that I have for you it has oranges. So we slice oranges and then lift up the, the uh, skin of the turkey and place the orange slices underneath. And that's going to be against the body of the turkey, which is going to absorb this orange flavor. Mm -hmm. And I have two recipes for us. We've got one with rosemary and one with thyme with the orange. So we've got some recipes for you. If you would like to take a screenshot of these, you're welcome to. Uh, my picture might be in the way here, but um, hopefully that helped. And go ahead and take a picture of that and we'll move on. Okay. Other herbs that we can use are cinnamon, and cloves. Now what I do is for my apple cider, I put it in a crock pot and I heat it up and I add a cinnamon log 
which is really cinnamon bark. Um, and this peels open. It looks really neat within the uh, apple cider, but you leave it in there and you leave the cloves. I put the cloves in this tea steeper and close it up so that the cloves don't actually get into the cider. So it's just to flavor it and to give it some spice and then you ladle it out of the crock pot. All right, then stewed pears. I've not made these before, but they look really good. And I think this, this Christmas, I'm gonna have to make these because it's a great option for people who are trying to eat healthily and they don't not necessarily want, you know, those desserts that have high caloric value, but they're looking for something more like this. It's nice to, to offer that. So this would be one idea. All right, and then here's an idea. My brother-in-law made this for me last year. Can you tell what is his favorite movie? Yes, I bet you can. So my brother-in-law, he likes to have fun and be creative. And he made this homemade gluten-free apple pie for me, which was amazing. And uh, so you can be creative, have fun, and still eat healthily. Remember to download your free colored fruit and veggie chart. I wanted to go over it with you a little bit so that you know what's on there and how to, to use this chart most effectively. So it will have a list of produce that are sprayed most heavily with pesticides. You wanna to try to buy these fruits and vegetables organic. If you're not able to, at least try to buy these foods that are the most heavily sprayed with pesticides. Try to buy those organically. I'll give you a hint. The top three are apples, strawberries, and other berries. Apples are sprayed the most with between 13 to 15 pesticides. It's, it's just ridiculous how many pesticides it takes to keep critters away from apples. Yes, they are delicious, and uh, but we want to eat them. All right, so you can hang this chart inside a cupboard to remind you what health benefits are associated with each color. I list them by color so that you know blues. Blues are good for the brain. Whites are good for your immune system. Reds are good for your heart. You're gonna learn these things and this chart is gonna help you. You can also use it to create your grocery list to incorporate a wider variety of fruits and vegetables. Uh, we tend to eat the same foods, so this will help you come up with more ideas to incorporate into your daily meals, not just holiday meals. Serving sizes are listed for portion control because many of us are looking for that, and we do need that in today's world. So that's what that free gift is, and you can find that on Marnie's page. There's a download. Um, I think on this page, you can find it somewhere and get that free fruit and veggie chart. Okay, now I need to put a disclaimer in here because I am a nutritionist. I need to tell you that you need to go to your doctor if you are going to be eating herbs and you take medications. Sometimes those don't mix well. So just make sure and cover everything off with your doctor. I'm not your doctor. I'm just a nutritionist. All right. I can be reached at darcyjsteiner.com, which is where my website is. My email is darcy at darcyjsteiner.com. My Instagram handle is at darcyjsteiner.writer. And everywhere else, I am just at Darcy J. Steiner. I hope that you do contact me. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And I'm so grateful for our time together today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your session. And I'm trying to get out of here. Um, 
We'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks for coming today.